Ugh, oh my gosh. Ugh. 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 Hi everyone, James Banfield here bringing you yet another video. Oh my God, you guys, I've been gone for so long, but now I'm back. Let me tell you, Vegas is wonderful, but we'll catch up more on that later. I wanna make a video where I transform a wig. So that's what we're gonna do today. First things first, I'm gonna show off the wigs that I bought off of eBay. Yes, we're starting off the month of October with glamour, and then we're gonna go into ghouls. Now, I bought these vintage wigs from eBay. They're from the 70s, and they're from a brand called Sunlight. Look at that. She looks like Barbara Streisand on the cover of it. Hello, gorgeous. I lucked out. I managed to get two of the same wig, the very same wig, so we can do a double stack today. And this one is a little worse for wear. I think there's like flood damage or something on it. Hopefully it's not in the wig. I did not inspect these before I bought them. So we're going to, you know, hope for the best and see what happens. Let's open up our little shoe box. Finest blend of 100% mod acrylic fibers. What the hell does that mean? What is a mod acrylic? Sounds dark sided. Okay, let's pull it out. Oh, boy. Boy, what in the world? Look at the inside. <laughs> this is definitely old. There's like a Velcro dot sewn onto it. That's, how does that come on? Oh, wow. Oh no, it's been repaired. <laughs> I guess the Velcro stopped working so they put this on as a repair. Oh no, it's somebody with an even smaller head. Wow, the stories behind this wig. What else is in here? Okay, there's the tag. So you know it's legitimate. It is Sunrise, or no, Sunlight 24. Sunlight 24, okay. And what the, what does this stuff say? What does it say? Oh, I think this is the receipt. They bought it at Kmart. <laughs> wow, that's an old receipt. Does it say what year it is? Oh, when did you buy this? Okay, April 11th, 1973. Wow, okay. And they must have liked the color because they bought two of the same wig. Okay, let's open this one. <laughs> okay. Get out of here. Okay. Yes. Two of the exact same wig. Oh my goodness. She is serving some level of like a 1970s house frau. Yeah, and the same thing inside there. I can't get over how this lady looks like Barbara Streisand. Like in, you know, A Star is Born. Ooh. Love, soft as an easy chair. There you go. Okay, well, I'm gonna try these on. I'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back, this is the wig. Oh boy, yeah, I feel definitely like, you know, a 1970s frau or like the mom in a 70s sitcom. Let's see what the other one on top of there looks like. Maybe that's like a moment. Ooh, look at that. Look who's ready for a party. Oh my God, okay. I'm gonna transform these. I'll be right back. What was that? That was like Selena. <laughs> All right, we are back. Now I'm just running a brush through this and I'm gonna start with the rougher wig first. This one was the one I had on my head and you can tell she's kind of been through the ringer. The finger waves aren't as strong as this one is. This must've been like their backup wig and then they probably just didn't get around to wearing it because their style changed. As I brush through it, she's looking a bit like Christy McNichol or Jimmy McNichol, you never can really tell. They both were very, very butch. Let's just brush through that a little bit more. Okay, good, good. And it is definitely that old school fiber that you get from like a vintage wig where it feels a bit plasticky, but to the untrained eye, it may look a bit real. I'm curious, what did they wear this wig for? <laughs> what was the special occasion that they bust out this finger waved Leaf Garrett wig? <laughs> with Farrah Fawcett flips, it's like Lori Foreman. Oh my God. Okay, let's tease her a little bit. Not a whole lot, because we're gonna make her a base. Now the idea I had was to do something very, very glamorous, since we have two wigs that are vintage and they actually match, which never happens on this channel. So I'm going to do a fabulous updo with this, yes. And since the wig is long enough, we can make it work. So I'm gonna try and take advantage of this while I have it. Yeah, she is definitely serving like some sort of Chrissy McNichol on emptiness. 
fantasy right now with the teasing in it. Did anyone actually watch that show? Oh my God. I remember it was a spinoff of the Golden Girls and they had like a backdoor pilot. And I was so mad every time it would get rerun because it's not a good episode of the Golden Girls. It is a backdoor pilot. I'm not trying to watch any nest. So I kind of held a vendetta against that show ever since. Okay. Now let's just take out our bangs. And these are going to go back, 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 back because I'm lazy and I don't feel like making a rooted hairline. I've been getting really into bangs lately. Doing something like that to give it like a nice glamorous fringe in front. We get like a Barbara Eden kind of a feel going here. And if you want the hair to smooth back and look smooth, like look at that, that's sexy. You use a comb and just brush it over the top. And that'll get a nice smoothness to it. I mean, it seems like it's kind of, you know, obvious, but some people don't know that. Some people need things spelled out for them, and that's fine. It's like watching something directed by Ryan Murphy. There we go. And it looks good. That permit tease and these vintage wigs always helps. I have to say, I enjoyed my trip to Las Vegas. That's right. I traveled to Las Vegas recently. I had to visit my sister and see how she was holding up. And she's living fabulously over there. And I played a Britney Spears, like, uh, I, uh, I spent, okay, I'm not proud of this. I spent $120 in a Britney Spears slot machine. I regret nothing, but I really wanted to know what happened on all of them. Like they are all themed after her, th her songs. Like they had um, Crazy and Baby One More Time and Toxic. They did not have Lucky, which seems like, you know, an obvious choice, but Lucky was not an option. Needless to say, I won nothing. And the only thing I succeeded in doing was wasting my time on a slot machine, but it was fun. I had fun. I also went and visited a bunch of wig shops over there and I have to say I'm probably just gonna stick to online but <laughs> it was interesting to see some of those wigs I'd seen on eBay for years and I got to see them up close and like up close is really the telltale sign of a good wig like maybe they had just been sitting on the shelf for a long time or something but like they weren't as smooth as I thought they were gonna be. Or maybe I just like built up the fantasy in my mind, like this is gonna be amazing. And then when I got there, it always disappoint you because you had an expectation, you know? Also, I went to a wig shop run by an old gay guy and he was wearing a wig. <laughs> like one of those full on like Frank Marino, like full on bouffant male wigs with like the fringe and everything. Like you look like Elvis. All right, I'll fool around with the fringe when I get there, but yeah, it's looking pretty good so far. Just gotta blend that back a bit and figure out what's getting left out and what's going back. All right, now for the back, I am going to do a mock French twist. So I'm gonna pull a little bit of hair from here. Like this whole section's gonna get twisted back. So I'm get a little brush brush. Where did I put that stupid brush? Oh yeah, I want right here too. Okay, pulled it out of my ass. All right, brushing it back. Good time. I tell you, girl, this video almost didn't happen. Every single issue was happening while I was trying to make this video. We got our microphone stuck on the stand and it would not budge. So we had to like jerry rig it from an old microphone and we managed to make it work. So, you know, you guys better feel lucky that I'm going through all this trouble because had I gotten stressed out, it wouldn't have happened and you wouldn't have waited a whole nother week. We're gonna do that. We're gonna pull that over. We're gonna leave a little bit hanging down as well so we can disguise our back hair. Let me just roll it. I've shown you how to do this before. We're just doing a little mock French twist. All right, now I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit and then we'll start our double stack. I'll be right <laughs> back. All right, this is how your Gilda should look. It's prepped for an updo. Now we're going to make a updo happen right now with the double stack. I'm gonna take some bubble wrap and put it right here. And I'm gonna pin that down to the head. Since this wig's a little shorter, I can't necessarily tease a whole lot of hair into it because it's just not very big up top because these wigs, I don't know what it is, they always layer them so short on top, giving them that, that mullet effect. But the way I see it, if they manage to make those big barrel up dudes with wigs and stuff in the 60s and 70s with the same damn wigs, I can figure it out here on this channel. So that's what we're gonna do. Just gonna be a little more inventive. Ah! Good as new. Okay, perfect. I don't wanna hear anything about it. All right. A few more. 
Okay, perfect. It's like she's wearing a snowball on her head. All right, now I'm gonna take our wig and there is an obvious crease here in the wig. So I'm gonna make that the back of it. And put that right here. That way it looks like it's actually part of the hairdo. It looks intentional. Okay, now let's pin that on. Let's do a little in the front. <laughs> That's a mop in the front, oh my God. We're gonna work with it, okay? It's gonna be great, just trust me. All right, now we have hair to work with. Fabulous, okay. Just push those pins in a bit more. And we got a nice little lift here, thanks to that bubble wrap. This is gonna be great. Okay, now we are going to do some barrel curls. Those are really, really easy. Now, I'm gonna take little sections at a time. And since they're all on tracks, it kind of gives you an idea of where to start and where to end. I usually do about this much of your finger, and that's as much hair as you're probably gonna need. The smaller, the better, because you get more curls out of it. If they're too big, then it's gonna look a little, you know, bloated. All right, got a little bit right there. Gonna comb through the ends. And tuck your finger underneath it and roll it under. And that'll be our first barrel curl. I'm gonna take a little pin. This is gonna take a lot of bobby pins, by the way. <clears throat> Just know that. Just be prepared. Okay, and try your best to make sure it's not too uneven, tangled. Try and get them smooth. And if you want them to look even bigger, you can also tease them. I'm probably gonna do a few more for you and then do the rest of this off camera, honestly, because this is honestly the whole routine. But I love me some barrel curls, girl. It always reminds me of like Divine and Hairspray when she gets the makeover and she has those gigantic barrel curls coming out of the salon with Tracy. These were such a look in the 1960s. It makes me think of like Divine or um, if you're a Barbie fan, Pretty Hair Francie always had barrel curls. Oh, the most beautiful dolls ever with the best hair. Just tuck in your tails. Tuck in your tails. All right, I'm gonna do the rest off camera. I'll be right back. <laughs> all right, she is all curled up. Now this barrel curl thing is so easy. It's literally just under curling in a row, working your way up until you get to the very top. And at the very top, you can have a little more fun. Since the hair here is really short, I just combed it a little bit and just played with the curl that's already there. Also, I should mention that a curly wig will be a lot easier to do this with. You can do it with a straight wig, but you gotta use a lot more hairspray and a lot more pins. You're better off just doing it with a curl because it already is working with you. Now, what we're gonna do here is just fix up our back and make it wearable and presentable. Improve that wave that's going on here. Also, I don't know what it's about barrel curls, but it always makes me think of like quinceañeras or the prom, or like Selena and Noto Que Mas. We should that big stack barrel curl updo. It's so gorgeous. You mean no makeup on them? What you said. She is looking cute. Let's just play around with this fringe a little bit and get her looking presentable. Eh. Ooh, almost knocked the whole thing over. Okay. Let's know our own strength, not manhandle the wig. And I'm just playing around with the curls here in the front so I can block out my sideburns. Creating sort of like a dangly fringe. And we have like, you know, a very dressy hairstyle for someone in the 60s or, you know, the 70s. They also wear hairstyles like this a lot at formal parties or at least in like films with prostitutes in them, like Foxy Brown, all the ladies wore hair like that, like the formal gatherings. I think she's looking rather cute. Let's just hairspray her down. And I think she'll be ready to try on. Yes, okay. I'll be right back with our final results. 
Welcome back. This is the final result. Oh my God, I love it. Now I hope you guys learned a lot about this because barrel curling is so, so easy. It's time consuming, but it's easy. Now this wig is fabulous, but it is just missing one more thing. The James Mansfield Magical Wig Spray from Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. Let's just give this hair a spritz. Ah! Now my hair smells just like cream soda. Available at blackphoenixalchemylab.com. Thank goodness, because the things smell like an attic. Oh my God. Now grooming can be an absolute drag, but thankfully I have Manscaped. Use my code James20 or Mansfield for 20% off plus free shipping. <laughs> it's for your no-no bits. And if you want to look as gorgeous as I do, be sure and use my code James at Gerard Cosmetics. <laughs> Gerard. You'll get 30% off on regular priced items. Now I would like to take a moment, a Ben moment, where I thank everyone who's tipped me on Venmo. I would like to thank Lee. Manika and Jamie. Thank you all so much for the tips on Venmo. Now don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye. And sorry I was gone so long. It won't be like that again, okay? I was on vacation. Bye. Hit the outro. Click here and watch my double stack transformation or see me transform a vintage Renee of Paris wig. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, I'll force you to wear a wig from the 70s that smells like mothballs. So click it.